I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the present time. We'll talk about how your person sees you, how you see them, and then we'll go over why it's happening. Just remember the roles, they can be switched, they can be reversed. They see you, could actually be you see them. So just take it for whichever way fits your situation. So Taurus, I'm getting a, a, a energy for this reading that um, there's some competition going on. Yeah, um, this could be with a family member. It could be with the person that you're involved with. Um, this could be you bringing competition to a situation. And... Um, if it's not you, like I said, it's maybe someone new coming towards you. But let's get into the reading. Let's take a look and see what's going on. So for the present time, like I said, coming up for the first week of July, we got the Moon card and the World card. Now the Moon card, it's about feeling psychic, intuitive. So it's important that you trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from coming up in July. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on news from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So it's about trying to stay patient also. That's the moon card now. It's with the world card, which is about completion. You've worked hard and you're almost to the finish line in some way, so don't quit now because you're so close. You're probably in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. Because I say this, you're getting I say this because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, in terms of work, there's a good chance that you're working far too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important, if this is the case, to toot your own horn. Blow your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So, it's interesting, Taurus, it looks like you're at the end of a journey here. Or you could be trying to close a chapter or complete a cycle in your life. Something's coming to completion, or it's trying to. Um, and you could, it looks like with the moon card here, you could be dealing with someone who's deceptive. You could feel like this person is wearing a mask. Or maybe this is how someone's feeling about you. But we need to clarify these two cards by taking a look at the rest of the reading. So for now, let's move on over and come back to those two a little bit later once we get some clarity. So why don't we take a look at how your person sees you for now. Your person sees you as a Knight of Wands and the Will of Fortune. Now the Knight of Wands, it's showing in the picture. It's a great time for travel. That's what it's showing, but I know these days it's probably not really a good idea. So don't just jump on the plane quite just yet. So it's about being charged up, full of energy and ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing. It's, it's helping you reach any goals that you have. Also, the nights, they're about messages. And they're likely positive messages. They're likely to be really positive. Um, they could be work, career, romance, fight, romance, or... Um, family related um, things are better in your things are better overall or than you expected or predicted when you get the knight of wands so your person they see you like this they see you fearless brave yeah you, this man he's charging in he's trying to reach out to someone yeah you they could see you as being long distance um, but they see you wanting to reach out. you got something to say. Uh, you want to talk. Yeah. Which, um, this Knight of Wands is very charming type. A charmer. Like I said, they're fearless, brave. They're really confident. They could have a, they have a lot of energy, so they're in and out. Yeah. 
they're here and they're there. That's why a lot of um, readers, they call this card the, the player. Because they don't really stick around for long. And that's how they see you. They also see you like the Will of Fortune. They see you, um, they see, they see you possibly bringing good fortune to this connection. So they like what you bring, um, to this connection. It's about, uh, good luck in a sense. But, um, just to explain this will for those of you who like to learn tarot. The will of fortune, it reminds us. That this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. You have to live in the now and count your blessings and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. So the Wheel of Fortune, it's transforming. It changes. It's in a cycle. Whereas the wheel turns, but the fortune is in your favor. So, yeah, so they see that you're bringing good fortune to this connection and you, you want to reach out. You've got something to say. You want to talk. Or they could be seeing that um, you are the player type. They could be thinking this. But they like that you bring good fortune to this connection. Fortune is in your favor. Or for, fortune is in... You bring good fortune to this connection at this time. Because like I said, the wheel does turn. So they like... They see you as... Um, yeah, you're, you're ready to come in. You want to talk. You're charged up. You're full of energy. Uh, but they could possibly see that you're not, they know you're not going to stick around. So, but you, you're charged up and you're ready to come towards them and you, you want to talk, you want to be next to them, you want to communicate. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. You see them like the Two of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Now, with the Two of Wands, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The Two of Wands is about a partnership with another person. It could be business, personal, or both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for, for successful relationships. So if things are out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. So keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. And stay positive. So you can see your person as, um, they could be choosing to make a future with you. Because if you can see the picture of this man, he's, he's more focused towards the one that's on the right more so than he is of the one that's on the left. He's more fo focused towards, towards you, towards the Knight of Wands. So this person could be making that decision. And because it's with the Six of Pentacles, it's about to turn for the better, particularly when it comes to money. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance. So it speaks of equality, fairness, and the nature of life. When this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. So it's about generosity, meaning that you are about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. Six of Pentacles, it's a great card in the tarot. It's, a, it's about, when it comes to love and relationships, it's good. It's a good relationship that that's prospering it's growing it's overall great and this is how you see them you can see them as wanting a good relationship with you and they're they're leaning in your direction yeah that's what that picture looks like, exactly like they're leaning in your direction and they you see them 
you see this person leaning in your direction and you see them wanting a really good relationship with you. Or you could see them thinking that this is a darn great relationship, a darn good relationship. Now, why it's happening? We got the Page of Cups and the Five of Wands. Now, the Page of Cups is showing a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, it could mean that you're taking yourself too seriously. There was a poet that once said, the important thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative, and the second can be a disaster. So, one of the reasons it's happening is because of the Page of Cups. Well, this gives a couple of different storylines. Um, page, we hear the word page in the tarot, that's youth, that's student, that's a student, that could be immaturity. It could be a new love also. So, it could just be a happy, playful time. Um, this could be someone who's ready to open up their heart. Yeah. Now, it's with the Five of Wands. Five of Wands refers to, com well, for, it refers to com competition. Yeah, you see how these five men there uh, have these uh, sticks or these wands in their hand and they're about to beat each other up. Yeah, they're about to beat each other up with their sticks with their wands. So, there's competition. Now, th since this is a love reading, it usually refers to romantic rivals, but don't be afraid of competing. Just know you have something to offer and you can be successful. But, the thing is, is that you're going to have to try just to see results. So, your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever at this time so hold your hook you need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever at this time so hold your head up high have faith that you will end up in the place that's right for you and keep and if you're thinking of making a career change just know that you can be successful too so in this connection because we got the five of wands there could be a struggle for dominance at times uh, the person that you have your eye on, they may be being pursued by several people. So, let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. Okay, so, Taurus, like I said, your person that you're dealing with, they see you as you want to, you're coming in. I don't know if you're, you're like I said, I don't know if you're long distance and you're, you're finally coming towards your person. Or you want to reach out, you want to talk, you want to communicate, you got something to say, you want to be with this person. Um, they see you want, you're wanting, you're wanting to connect. Um, they see you as, um, yeah, you want to reach out really fast, in a confident, brave, fearless way. Like I said, they could also be thinking that you're a player. They could be, for some of you Taurus. And they like, uh, they see you as bringing good fortune to this connection. Or fortune is in your favor. Now, you see them as um, wanting to make a future with you. It could be, you could see them as planning. They're, um, leaning, they're leaning in your direction. Maybe you don't know it, but that's what they're doing. They're leaning towards you. They're, they could be choosing you. And they see this as a good relationship. Your person's happy. Overall, happy. They're very happy with you. And why it's happening, like I said, because um, we got the Page of Cups here. Um, this looks, like, looks like your person, uh, Taurus, is ready to open their heart to you with the Page of Cups here. So they could be contacting you and just being more open, having a more open-hearted energy. Um, they might come across as being really playful, but your person is ready for for intimacy with you, and they're ready to. Looks like with the Page of Cups, they're ready to open their heart because they're choosing you. They're leaning in your direction. 
with his two of wands here. But um, they could be feeling that um, because the moon card is here and because the five of wands is here that you might be seeing other people. And we got the knight of wands. So they might be a little bit unsure. But they really, the person likes you a lot. They're ready to choose you. They're ready to open up their heart. But it looks like, yeah, they think that um, you're seeing other people. And they feel like um, you don't really tell them everything that they need to know. But it looks like because you're re you're ready to reach out to this person, um, you might be deciding to close a cycle or some chapters in your life. Because it looks like you you want to come towards this person too, and um, and be with them also. So it looks like you got feelings for this person. Just as much, well, it looks like they got more feelings for you, but they, they're a little bit unsure, but they're ready to, to open up their, their heart to you. This person, like I said, they're choosing you, but they're a little bit, um, they're a little bit, they might be a little bit afraid that you've got other people there with the five of wands you're dealing with. Uh, you bring competition to this connection and you don't really with the moon card they might think that you keep things from them keep things hidden from them so they could be hoping that you close out that cycle of dealing with other people and they're, they're probably hoping that you just choose them you know with the world card they they're hoping you close out that cycle and just choose them Close the chapter with the, these other people and just choose them. This person really likes you. Yeah, they're ready to open up their heart to you with this page of cups here. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're ready to reach out. You're ready to come towards them in a very positive way with the Knight of Wands. But... Yeah, they know that you might not stick around because they see you got other people here that you could be seeing. Yeah, but your person, they choose you. Yeah, if you can see how cute the two of wands in the card is, he's looking right into this bird's eye. And he's got a rope tied to that wand. His foot is actually tied with a rope to that wand in the direction of the bird. He's focused, very focused in that direction. And that's towards you, towards your person is choosing you. So get ready. Yeah, they like that this is, a, they feel like this is a really good relationship with you. So Taurus, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I'll also put a link below of the extended where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I've also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Taurus, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all is well and you guys are being safe. Wear those masks. Yeah, take care of yourself and... Um, just in case this reading did not resonate with some of you, please come back and check out the next Taurus reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Maybe that reading will resonate with you more. So, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care. Take care. Take care.